What's going on everyone? ODC here and I'm back with another action figure review. Today's review we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Joe-Con exclusive zombie initiative box set. This is Clean Sweep. Uh, now I only have a, a very set few of these figures. I've been trying to kind of cherry pick but uh, this is Clean Sweep. He came out and uh, I believe the box set came out in what 2014. Uh, uh, for Jokon, and uh, yes, this was an exclusive, as I already said, and uh, I think this is actually, uh, as far as, you know, reusing parts and kind of mixing and matching here, I think it does suit the figure and the character well, uh, as far as what parts were used, and um, I have a, a couple little gripes with the figure. Uh, it is very simplistic. I don't think it garnishes that uh, price point that it's going for, which is around the anywhere from $80 to $100. I have seen a couple of them go for around the $70 price point. I still don't think he's, he's even close to that. Uh, I, I get that it's a very limited run, and, and that's what people are going to try and sell him for, uh, and there's nothing you can do about that. But with that all being said, uh, I still am happy to have the figure. Uh, I did not pay the high price point. Uh, fortunately for myself uh, but uh, I am happy to, to finally have him and I have been trying to get him for years uh, but um, and this might not be like the most important figure to a lot of people but he is important to me I do have his vintage figure so we'll take a look at the comparisons between the both of them uh, and the vintage figure I do have is one that I've had for a very 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 long time and I still have it it is not complete but we'll get to that in a little bit uh, let's take a look at what he does come with we'll just scoot him aside over there uh, he does come with this same briefcase that came with the pursuit of Cobra slash 50th anniversary Hawk General Hawk um, it is not painted inside the computer is uh, display screen is painted blue the rest, uh, it's pretty much just a, a nothingness. There is a keyboard in there and everything. Uh, you do have a SMG uh, in there. So it looks to be like a uh, HK SMG right there. So there you go. And it is removable. You can take that out if you want to. Look at the tweezers in there and pull it out. There we go. So you can remove that. Like I said, it's uh, pretty much set up the same, uh, except the colors vary for the General Hawk version. Uh, and this one does say Echo, because these are a part of the Echo Warriors sub-team for G.I. Joe. So I don't mind that he does have a pistol in there. It works for the Zombie uh, Initiative. Uh, sorry for the blurring there. Uh, the... Uh, the major thing that I have an issue with is that this this briefcase on this specific one just keeps popping open and popping open and then you do have a lot of stress marks right here as you can see there's a stress mark going across the the top portion of that where it says echo um, it's not uh, the end of the world for me I just kind of wish this would stay shut so I can just leave it in his hand um, I don't want to glue it because then I will be able to access the SMG, but uh, I could just always take the SMG out and then glue this shut if I so choose. I don't really have any plans to resell this. I kind of want to keep this in my collection for a very long time, so um, I might go that route. But uh, that aside, moving on to the figure, if I can focus here. There we go. Now we're focusing. Um, moving on to the figure here, he's uh, pretty simplistic. Uh, we have seen this, this uh, type of I think it's actually a, a um, I want to say it's like a rifle flamethrower combo, very similar to what uh, Ripley had in the, the uh, in Aliens, something similar to that where she combined the assault rifle and the flamethrower together. So I think that's what this design was kind of going for. You can see it's got a little tank right here, and uh, this tank has Z plus, which is the cure to the um, the uh, Z virus that uh, the zombie initiative was using um, and also actually the whole zombie initiative started actually through Pursuit of Cobra with the uh, Toxo um, Vipers and um, or Hazard Vipers and I thought that was always pretty cool that they did that uh, but he can't hold it in his hand fine Okay, you can kind of get him to two-hand it. The, um, 
the I guess I want to say the barrel is very thick as far as or uh, girthy so you kind of have to you know just play with it a little bit more um, you can see how girthy that is as opposed to how much the hand is going to stretch out and even if you do get to stretch out it doesn't want to stay on there so so maybe you know he doesn't doesn't two hand it the best but uh, if you use your imagination you can just imagine him two handing it I suppose um, so there is that now the uh, the next thing that he does come with as far as accessories do go you can pop off his rubbery head or helmet excuse me it's his hazmat suit um, and actually I used to be on a hazmat team so uh, this is actually <laughs> quite close as far as the yellows go to a hazmat suit that we would use uh, not obviously the green nor the blue but the yellow definitely uh, the hazmat suit I actually used was uh, yellow and black the helmet does look pretty good it is a softer rubbery pliable uh, style plastic so you it is malleable and you can move it around and it does fit over his head without scraping off any paint like so it's a very easy fit no issues there uh, I have seen some people point out that have reviewed this figure before that oh well his head doesn't turn when it's in there kind of moves around I'm like what difference does that make that makes no difference who cares if the the head turns while this turns as long as this turns that's all that matters how are people going to know that the head's not turning in there? So I always thought that was kind of like a pointless thing to, to point out in a review for a figure. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't really matter if the head turns as long as the you can at least get the helmet uh, on any figure. As long as you can get the helmet to swivel, it doesn't matter if the head turns. Who cares? Um, the face sculpt itself, I think, looks pretty darn good. I, I'm liking it quite a bit. Uh, I like the, uh, the old uh, Magnum P.I., style face sculpt we've got here it does kind of look like magnum pi quite a bit and uh like the stash <laughs> um, i'm liking all of the little details that we have for the suit this is a reused uh data viper uh torso slash i want to say oh boy this has been reused for lift ticket uh, a few different figures so uh the belt I'm not sure where the belt is from. I'd have to probably look that up, but it does come with some, some uh, looks like um, smoke grenades right here or something like that. Maybe you can pretend that this is this is some Z plus uh, grenades or something like that to maybe cure a, a large crowd of people that are infected. Uh, we do have a bit, let me get my pointer out here. We do have a little bit of uh, paint rubbage right there on that little button piece right there if that's what that is uh, but the sculpt overall I like it I like the, uh, the little strap right here I, overall I've always liked this sculpt whether it was used for anybody but uh, he's got some pockets on his arms over here let me focus again pockets on his arms he's got some yellow for his underneath his form kind of like a forearm pad or something like that uh, the hands are not as bad as some other modern hands where they don't like to hold stuff uh, these are actually pretty decent hands as far as that goes, so no issues with the hands. Uh, I like the little detail for the pockets, flipping him around to the back. It's just pretty much a uh, uh, plain backside, nothing too crazy there. Uh, the legs look pretty cool. I like the little green pockets right here. Very nicely done with that. Uh, moving on to the boots. Very nicely done with the boots. Overall, very pleased with the uh, the usage or the reusage of parts here for Clean Sweep. So very nicely done. Okay, and here we have Clean Sweep's file card. If you want to pause that and read it, you can. Okay, next up we've got his display base, which is pretty uh, you know basic. Uh, it does say Eco Force instead of Eco Warriors. Then it says Clean Sweep. We've got the embossed GI Joe logo with two pegs sticking out for his feet. Okay, and as far as a little comparison goes with his uh, vintage counterpart, uh, here you go. Uh, I think the, uh, the yellows and the greens match pretty well. Um, uh, obviously, the, hel the, uh, the helmet or the, uh, the head covering is different uh, from the vintage to the modern one. So the modern one does have a newer sculpt, and I don't think it was reused for anything else. So you do get that little bit of uh, specialty with the, the Jokon one. 
Uh, it's not anything to go overboard about. It's just a, essentially just a, a head covering or a helmet. Uh, I think it's a, a really good look. Uh, I know my vintage uh, clean sweep is missing some parts, but this is one that I've had for a very, very long time. And, uh, you know, I, I actually really dig the whole zombie initiative uh, theme for the Eco Warriors. I think it's, uh, uh, you know, giving a, a sub team that wasn't all that important before. Uh, giving them something to do that uh, really gives them motivation to, uh, or gives the collector motivation to want to actually pick these up and maybe do some sort of zombie hunting or zombie um, curing with uh, some of these. So he's not just a, a janitor like some people say. If you did, and I just want to point this out in this quick little rant, um, if you did want to make your own clean sweep, you could definitely go the Marauder's route and just go with the uh, yellow and black uh, Marauder body. Um, you could also pick yourself up a, a uh, vintage clean sweep. I think he goes for only around the, uh, I don't know, I, I, I guess I've seen other clean sweeps go for around 10 bucks. You can reuse that helmet and it will fit on a modern body. It doesn't fit uh, tightly uh, like you would like, but it does sit on the body. And that helmet, the, the vintage helmet, is also a softer plastic, so it's not a hard plastic. Um, it will fit over a modern head, and you don't have to worry about that. Like I said, it's a little bit loose, but uh, it, it's better than nothing if you really want a, uh, a clean sweep or if you're trying to do some sort of zombie um, diorama slash uh, set piece or something like that. So that's just uh, some little tips uh, in case you guys wanted to know about that. The um, the Joe Khan uh, helmet will fit on the Marauders, over the Marauders' heads and bodies as well. So if you you know maybe don't like the Joe Khan one and you have it and you want to switch it up a little bit, you could go that route as well. Um, uh, Marauders also does sell this rifle. Um, they also sell other rifles similar to it that's been re released by Hasbro, like this one with the removable canister. So you could go that route as well. Just trying to give you guys as as many options as possible, um, because I know a lot of people like to go the Marauders route now when they can't, uh, you know, afford this thing. Okay, as far as clean sweeps articulation does go, his head can swivel at a full 360 rotation. He can look up about that far. He can look. Uh, he doesn't really move at all, actually. So let me just point that out. His head can tilt side to side though. No jive turkeys, no gobbles. Arms go up, down, full 360 rotation in the arm. Single bend at the elbow, which is a little bit le about a little bit less than 90 degrees. He does have a swivel at the elbow as well. A swivel at the wrist. A hinge joint, which does go up and down. And it does mirror on this side as well. It does have a uh, diaphragm joint. Can crunch back, he can crunch forward. Can swivel also he can kind of pivot side to side it's kind of hindered uh, but he does have t-jointed hips which go out and they go forward and that's him going forward maxed out so pretty decent a double jointed knee he does have a swivel at the ankle you can point the heel and point the toe and two peg holes at the bottom of his feet Okay, so my final verdict for the Joe Con Zombie Initiative clean sweep action figure. I think he's a really solid figure. Um, I don't think he's worth the money that he's going to be going for. Uh, overall, I don't have any quality control issues except for that briefcase not being able to shut. I wish the pegs were maybe a little bit longer so they held in properly. Um, but I don't have any issues with my Pursuit of Cobra or 50th Anniversary Hawks briefcases shutting. They always stay shut. So it might just be this one. Uh, maybe the uh, the plastics changed a little bit. Maybe they're a little bit more of a malleable uh, peg, so that's it's moving around a little bit more. But um, you know, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, like I said, if you have any uh, uh, zombie vipers, or if you have any of the other box set, I know that uh, these Toxo vipers don't go for too much. Uh, even the Toxo Zombies, I think, go for around the $30 price point, which isn't too bad uh, as far as a Jocon exclusive goes. Uh, so you could pick those up or just pick yourself up a bunch of Zombie Vipers. They don't they don't go garnish that much money. I think around the uh, $20 for two of them, uh, which I don't think is too bad. Uh, if you want to make your own clean sweep, it's probably more cost effective for you. So I'd go the Marauders route as far as that's concerned and then pick yourself up a 
vintage clean sweep and use reuse that helmet if you wanted to. Um, maybe use a little bit of sticky tack on the top of the uh, inside the helmet to keep that uh, the head the helmet from falling off the modern figure. But uh, you know that's a, a, a route you can go. Uh, with that being said, I, you know, I'm pretty pleased with the figure. I, I, like I said, I know the prices are crazy for these and a lot of Joe Con exclusives, um, get inflated as far as the price point goes, but I digress. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.